this video, we are going to be installing Kali Linux on our Windows 11 and we are going to be running Kali Linux with a VirtualBox. If you do not know what VirtualBox is, VirtualBox is just a software with which you can run different OS like Ubuntu, Kali Linux, Parrot OS in your host machine, which in my case is Windows 11. So without further ado, let's first download and install the VirtualBox. First, open up your browser, go to Google and search for download VirtualBox and press enter. Go to the first link where it says download Oracle VM VirtualBox. When you're on this page, under the latest version of VirtualBox, which in my case is 7.0.10 platform packages, click on Windows host and your download will begin. Wait for the download to get finished. After the download is finished, open the folder that your file got downloaded to. And I can see this is the installer that just got downloaded. Click on the file two times. Click on next and I can see the default location where the virtual box will be downloaded is in C program files. I will click on next. You should also click on next if you do not have an explicit reason to change it. Click on yes, click on yes, click on install and your installation will begin. Wait for the installation to get finished. After the installation is finished, I can see that the virtual box icon is on my desktop. Click on finish and your virtual box will start. Next. We have to download the Kali Linux ISO image if we want to run Kali Linux on a virtual box. So open up your browser, go to Google and type Kali Linux, press enter, click on the first link, click on download. Here you have two options. In my opinion, installer images is better than the virtual machines because installer images is more stable. Click on that. Here I can see this is the latest version of Kali Linux, which is 2023.3. Keeping the 64 bits selected, click on the download icon. And your download will begin. I can see this is a 4GB file, so it will take a while to get downloaded. Wait for the download to get finished. After the download is finished, go to the download folder. And now I can confirm that my ISO image has been downloaded onto the downloads folder. Next, come back to the Oracle VM Virtual Box Manager. Click on New. Here in the name field, I will type in Kali Linux 2023. You can give any name you want. Keep the folder as default if you do not have a space issue. If you have a space issue, change the location of the folder. Select the drop down of the ISO image. Click on other. I know my ISO image has been downloaded into the downloads folder. So I'll select the downloads folder and I can see this is the ISO image. Select that. Click on open. Click on next. Here, the base memory, which is also known as the RAM. 2GB is the minimum requirement. Anything above that, Kali Linux will run better. So I will put this in the maximum green. For processors, at least two CPUs is needed. I will put this in the green so that it will run better. Then click on next. Here, the minimum hard disk requirement is 20 gigabytes. I have 25 pre-selected. So click on next. Here you can check the summary. I will leave it as it is and click on finish. Next, click on settings. Click on display. Here, increase the video memory to the full. I'm increasing to 128 MB. Then click on USB. I'm fine with USB 2.0 selected. You can select other forms of USB if you have a different form of hardware. Next, click on OK and then click on start. Now I have few different options. I will select graphical install, press enter. I'm selecting the language as English, click on continue. I'm selecting my location as United States. I'm keeping the configuration of keyboard as American English as default. Next, we have to configure the network. I'm keeping my host name as default, which is Kali. You can give any host name you want. Click on continue. Here I'm not giving a domain name. Click on continue. Type in your username. Click on continue. Click on continue. Type your password for the machine. Click on continue. Here the time is already pre-selected to Eastern. I'll leave it as it is. Click on continue. Keep guided use entire decks. Click on continue. Here the partition is also pre-selected. Click on continue. I will keep all files in one partition. Click on continue. And now my partition will finish partitioning and write changes to the disk and click on continue and it's asking me do I want to write the changes to disk I will select yes and click on continue and wait for the installation of the base system to complete now you can customize your different desktop environment if you want but I will not do that I will keep it as default click on continue and wait for the installation to get finished and we're at the last step right now install the grub bootloader select yes click on continue device for bootloader installation select def as da and click on continue now our installation has finished, click on continue to reboot the machine, press enter, type in your username and password and click on login, 
And now I can see that I can run Kali Linux in virtual machine in Windows 11. If you want Kali Linux to be full screen, click on view, click on full screen mode, click on switch and your Kali Linux will be in full screen mode. That is how you install Kali Linux in VirtualBox.